Look, I'm telling you, opening a new line of credit was the smart move. I had some very important investments come up. Ah, uh, a tale as old as time. We see anime we enjoy, and we throw our money at it! At least when it comes to fine connoisseurs of anime like I happen to be. After all, with how many anime figures I plan to own, I'm... Oh, I probably can't afford to stay here much longer. Now, anime gals have been slowly gaining control over the world for quite some time now. But a new era has dawned upon us in the recent years, skyrocketing these adorable anime characters towards their peak potential, and that era is known as VTubing. Cuteness, wholesomeness, and lewdness are these soldiers' main weapons of combat, and we are gladly at their mercy at this point. Even cute pictures of our pets are no match for their adorableness! VTubing is kind of like an actor putting on a costume before their performance. Except in this case, it's the use of a virtual avatar in order to just basically express yourself online. Usually with a cute anime persona. A simple concept to understand and utilize that I'm kind of surprised it took this long for it to really branch out to the levels of success all over media that it has now. To the point where I spent half of last year not making YouTube videos because I was just falling down the VTuber rabbit hole. I swear it was for my mental health. And honestly, a certain cat girl trucker is the one that led me down this rabbit hole. So thank you, Neanders. I hope the minutes shaved off my life will help fuel your powers for many centuries to come. And it's not really an exaggeration either about how this whole new world that got opened up before me. When the pink harbinger of the cane sword Neanders delivered peak gremlin hours of entertainment while collabing with the lewdest of casts that expanded my growing perception of VTubing with lewd artificial intelligence, Satan's chaotic nature, and a wolf's mommy milkers. Quite the ensemble of virtual waifus that eventually would form their very own talent agency, V Shoujo, and recruit the likes of enchanting liches, rockin' dragons, alluring succubi, and literally everything in between. Do you see why I haven't left this rabbit hole and gave up my soul for merch? Worth it for every aya ya. But VTubing isn't just waifu territory either, there's plenty of husbandos here to dazzle you and entertain you like you're seated in a host club. And quite frankly, it's never been a better time to just be a simp. This isn't Twitch, so I can say that. Following the legacy of our meme idol Aichan, the concept of VTubing has been making huge waves over the last couple years due to the big stay names like Hololive expanding their global reach with their English VTubers. Such a powerful impact that the use of VTubing has become a mainstay in the regular streaming community. But what I really love about VTubing is that it gives us weebs an extremely creative outlet to basically play an anime character, fulfilling so many weeb fantasies that we've been basically wishing for since we became baby weebs. Kind of like isekai ourselves into any kind of lore that we can think of. And I'm serious, you can literally be anything when it comes to the concept of VTubing. I've seen lamps, guns, pandas. Nothing is really off limits. Hell, with the current feed on the table VTuber meme that's been going around lately, I am shocked there solely hasn't been a VTuber foot debut yet. It's free heel estate. But at the same token, only having an avatar be how you're identified online as a content creator can give you such a boost of confidence to really just be yourself. Not be afraid to go wild and speak about anime booba for hours on end. VTubing is an outlet for a lot of people to be free about what they enjoy. And I think that's amazing that the power of anime has once again given us weebs a new way to connect with others while still feeling accepted. Honestly, at this point, I am pretty confident that VTubers are gonna take over the world, and I'm okay with that. They've managed to harness the raw potential power of anime to ada ada their way in the streaming world as a force to be reckoned with. Hold your biddies, hold your subs, cause they're stepping on everyone out there. 
Someone's been a bad boy today. <laughs> take my money. This massive boom in popularity has also proven that whether you're a big or small content creator, VTubing draws a certain kind of curiosity from the crowd that wants to know, Hey, uh, what's all this anime shit about? Especially since bigger content creators have also tried their hand in becoming 2D. Honestly, it's only a matter of time before VTubers are proclaimed as the key to bringing world peace and everyone together through the power of anime. With their words of wisdom solving all of our problems. I'm telling you right now, if you are mad, before you go post mean things on the internet, just go jack off. Whoa! It'll, it'll help you, I promise. I mean, she's not wrong. Quite frankly, I'm very excited to see where the world of VTubing is gonna go from here. It's literally a form of content creation that has so much potential behind it that it will honestly shock me if most people don't have a VTuber model at some point in their life. At least in terms of being a content creator. Even your neighbor's dog will end up having the buffest VTuber model you've ever seen. First, they invaded our smart devices, then made their way into our living quarters. But more importantly, they found their way into our hearts. And someday, we will all be assimilated into VTubing. Surely a holy thigh bowl of VTubers would make that happen, right? <laughs>